A lot of brouhaha has been made over you saying you thought this was an accident. And I want to give you a chance to explain to people that are stirring the pot about what you meant. Um, I believe what, um, what I said was taken out of context. Mm -hmm. um, what I actually meant when I made that statement is I was just piggybacking on something that Tracy had mentioned before. He had just said that Zimmerman had gotten out of his vehicle. And what I was, um, the point that I was trying to make was that if Zimmerman had never gotten out of his vehicle, he would not have met Trayvon. And I said that encounter was accidental. That Trayvon meeting Zimmerman was accidental. It was it, in no way, shape, form, or fashion that I imply that this was an accident, that the shooting was an accident. I don't believe that it was an accident. I believe he got out of his vehicle, he had an intent in his mind, and he carried out that intent, and that's why my son is no longer with us. Ms. Fulton, you mentioned that what you, one of the things you hate the most about all of this is what Trayvon Martin could have been. Now, see, I'm not as generous as you are. See, if it were me, I'm sure I would be brokenhearted because I wouldn't have a lifetime with my child. But you're concerned about what he could have been. What did he want to be? Trayvon um, had a lot of goals. He had short-term goals. One of the things that we used to talk about was him going to the prom, was him taking his senior pictures and he graduating. Those are the things that he was looking forward to. Um, every summer, he likes to go on vacation. So those are the type of things that I'm going to miss short-term. Long-term, Trayvon was interested in going to college. He wanted, he wanted to pursue the aviation business. That was just something that he wanted to do. He was very good with his hands. So it's just, it's just certain things like that that I will miss. I will miss just having him near me, just having him kiss me, just having him smile at me. I lo notice a lot of the pictures that they have out there, he's smiling. He was a happy child. You know, Ms. Fulton, <clears throat> everything that you're saying is just hitting home with me. Every single thing, when you say that he wanted a future in aviation, I imagine my, my little boy loves to run around with a plane, an airplane, and make plane noises like he's a plane. They talk about going on vacation. This morning they asked me if they could move to Disney, if they could live in Disney. They look forward to vacation so much. Tell me something. What what vacation did he love? What did he love to do, Miss Fulton? Um, he 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 likes the uh, cold weather. Um, he loved it here in New York. Um, that was just something that he really appreciated. He liked it Broadway. He got a chance to go to a Broadway play. Um, he got a chance to see the Statue of Liberty. He did the tour. He seen Central Park. Um, the horseback riding, the skiing. He he he's just he likes. Uh, to go on vacation. So a lot of things that he likes abroad, but he also likes the local things. He likes to go to the heat game, the Miami heat game. He likes to watch the Miami Dolphin football team. He used to also, um, even though he was too old to play um, Optimus football, he was still going out to the game. He volunteered his time. He worked at the concession stand with his dad. So those are the type of things that he was still interested in. He still wanted to give back to the community. He, he worked for absolutely free just to help the kids. You know, I, I think when you say the thing that you're going to miss the absolute most is just being near him. Because I can't think of anything I love more than just being in the same room, being with my twins. Mr. Martin, I want to hear from you. I've been focusing on Miss Fulton so much because she's a mom, but I'm sure a father has such dreams and hopes for their son. Yeah, um, me and Trayvon was very close. Um, he, he spent a lot of time out of town with me, uh, traveling with me. Um, he was actually, I was looking forward to 
uh, getting him his first vehicle. Um, <laughs> he was looking forward to the prom. Uh, Trayvon just, he, he, he was, every time I traveled uh, out of town to play sports, he would travel with me um, ever since uh, nine months old. Um, I'm, the, the thing I'm going to miss most about him is just him, his presence. Um, Trayvon was my hero. Uh, Trayvon saved my life when he was nine years old. He pulled me out of uh, a house fire. And I felt as though I owed him uh, a debt of gratitude. I owed him my life. And not to be able to save him in his time of need is really troublesome.